Kia ora everyone, this is just a brief prelude before next week's podcast episode where we have Jason Costa from um, Fit Futures Learning Institute and former bronze medalist at the Commonwealth Games. Um, so that episode releases next Wednesday and it's got some really cool things that I think people are going to take quite a bit from, uh, especially around his approach with his athletes and how I think as educators we can um, take a lot from his approach that he has with his athletes and how he has this um, holistic view of his athletes and it's really cool. We also discuss a few other things around pathways and and uh, his approach to fit futures and, and things like that. So it's going to be quite a good episode but what I wanted to do in this prelude was um, I watched Jason fight at Nationals a few weeks ago and I, I don't know if you've watched judo before but it's it's a fairly complicated sport and unless you know the rules it can be quite difficult to understand what's happening and so in this one fight that we watched um, Jason got thrown fairly early and I knew that he's he's obviously a competent fighter um, or judoka uh, but because I don't know the rules we and my wife was here watching we, we didn't really have much of an idea of what was going on so anyway they carried on and the fight went on for another few minutes and then Jason ended up on top of this his opponent on the ground and nobody was really moving and we didn't really know what was happening and then all of a sudden Jason's coach which is his, his wife Moira just got up and walked off and I turned to my wife and said oh what's going on is, is this finished or what and so it turns out that uh, in judo you can pin an athlete and you can win the match just by pinning them on the ground for a certain amount of time and when this was happening it didn't look that challenging to get out of and I said at the time I was like I don't know how hard that would be to get up and I, um, I, I'd like to give that a go. So anyway, I stayed with Jason last week and uh, after we, we filmed the podcast session or, or recorded the interview, I said to him, hey mate, how about you, you pin me and I want to see if I can get up. And I'm not, a, um, I'm not a small guy by any means and I'd like to think that I'm, I'm above average in strength but um, the next little video I was just going to show you um, my experience trying to get up from being pinned by Jason and I'll tell you what it, uh, it wasn't easy and I think it just goes on to show uh, how important functional or sport specific strength is um, among athletes sorry about that plane going past our school is right by the airport um, yeah so take a look at the video have a good laugh at, at my expense thinking that I would be able to get up um, with an elite athlete pinning me down um, he also did another one after the camera finished rolling and the one on the video actually has no pressure uh, it was a very light pin um, the one he had was pressure I thought he was seriously gonna break my neck so take a look at that um, also later this week I'll start pushing out some some episodes from Dubai we leave in a couple of days um, that's gonna be pretty exciting and really looking forward to um, just learning a little bit more from from different educators and different curriculums um, from around the world so that's going to be exciting so keep an eye out for that other than that please like the page and the episode um, and keep an eye out for that podcast episode next week cheers so all I have to do is stand up stand oh okay yeah. so or, or get up you, you, if you can turn and face down or yeah anything so I can like try to do that yeah. and stuff yeah go for it yeah. <laughs> all right oh my gosh <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Carl. What are you doing? <laughs> Don't strangle him. Oh, man, there's like no way. <laughs>